The 2023-2024 NBA season is finally over. What's going on, guys? My name is Zach, and today I'm going to be doing my NBA playoff predictions. I quickly just found a spreadsheet and threw all the teams in the right spot. The seed number's not right, but I will explain it as we get along here. If you guys do enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and comment down below right now who you think is winning the NBA championship this year so I know you didn't cheat. So let's get things started with the Western Conference play-in tournament between the seven-seeded New Orleans Pelicans taking on the Los Angeles Lakers as the eight-seed. Lakers just destroyed the Pelicans. Both teams had all of their players playing, and it was in New Orleans, if I'm not mistaken. I literally just watched it, too, and I can't even remember. But the Lakers are going to win once again, getting that seven-seed and going to have to play against the two-seeded Denver Nuggets in the first round. Uh, up next in the 9-10 matchup, we have the 9-seeded Sacramento Kings taking on the 10-seeded Golden State Warriors. <clears throat> I'm sorry, um, Warriors fans, but I do not have you guys making the NBA playoffs this season. The Kings, I don't know how, what happened to them in the final couple weeks of the season. They were as high as the 6-seed, if I remember correctly, in early April. But the Kings are going to be able to get the job done, which means the nine-seeded Kings would face the seven-seeded Pelicans in game number two, and I actually do have the Sacramento Kings going into the NBA playoffs as the eight-seed where they would take on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Um, so yeah, Warriors, Pelican, Pelicans fans, don't click off the video. You guys, well, the Warriors aren't young, but the Pelicans, you guys are young. Full uh, another season to your belt, and you guys honestly should have avoided the play-in tournament this year. Okay, now in the Eastern Conference, we got the 7 versus 8 matchup here. The 7 seeded Philadelphia 76ers taking on the 8 seeded Miami Heat. And we are going to do the Heat taking down the Sixers in game 1, which means the Heat would get the 7 seed to go against the 2 seeded Knicks. Yeah, the Bucks of, I don't know what happened to the Milwaukee Bucks, but the Heat will take that game. And then we have the 9 seeded Chicago Bulls taking on the 10 seeded. Atlanta Hawks. Uh, I don't know how the Bulls are even here. That just shows how bad the Eastern Conference is. So Hawks are going to be upsetting the Bulls. I don't even know if it's an upset at this point, which means we have the 10 seeded Hawks taking on the 7 seeded 76ers. And even whoever wins out of the 10 9 matchup in the East, there's just no, no way. Like Heat and Sixers are both going to make the playoffs unless the Hawks somehow do something ridiculous, which now means we have our final 16 teams. We'll Gold, stay in the Eastern Conference. Uh, we got the Boston Celtics taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, there will be a Joel Embiid game, but the Celtics are taking down the Sixers in five games is my prediction. Um, yeah, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown have been <clears throat> all NBA players so far this season. Porzingis is able to give you 20, 25 points at any, any, any given moment, and Embiid needs more help. Uh, up next, we got the four-seeded Cavs taking on the five-seeded Magic. Uh, Cavaliers kind of limping, not limping, struggling their way into the playoffs, but I do have them getting out of the first round uh, in a relatively competitive series. I think they're going to take the Magic down in six games, I believe, because these teams are really close in terms of personnel. Um, I don't know. The Magic could upset me once again. I'm working on a video about the 2022 NBA draft class. So, Paul Bancaro fans, make sure you tune in for that whenever I'm able to get that uploaded. Up next, we got the three-seeded Milwaukee Bucks taking on the six-seed Indiana Pacers. <clears throat> um, man, this is it's going to be the Bucks, but I this game, this series is a hundred percent going seven games. Man, Tyrese Halliburton arguably is going to be first or second team All NBA this season. Uh, Pascal Siakam is going to give you twenty-two points per game in this series, I believe. And the X factor is just going to be if Miles Turner is able to stay on the floor, stay out of foul trouble. If Miles Turner averages 15.7 boards, like two and a half made threes a game, the Pacers are going to win this series. It's going to come down to Miles Turner versus Brooke Lopez matchup, in my opinion. And finally, we have the New York Knicks, the two seed New York Knicks, taking on the seven seed Miami Heat. I do have the Knicks winning this series in five games. Uh, the Knicks have been an unbelievable basketball team in the back half of this season. Um, not until today. They were in the 3-4 seed range until literally the last game. So the East is pretty wide open, um, outside of the Celtics, of course. And now we're going to go to the Western Conference. We got the OKC Thunder taking on the Sacramento Kings. Um, Thunder are going to get this one done, but it's, it's going to go six or seven games because the Kings, if they just need to 
get hot and because they've been in the playoffs a couple years now. This is the Thunder's first time in the playoffs in recent memory. And yeah, Thunder taking down the Kings in six games. Now we got the LA Clippers being the four seed taking on the five seed Dallas Mavericks. Uh, Jokic is going to win MVP this season, but I do believe the Mavericks will upset the Clippers in six games. Uh, playoff P is going to come out. Russell Westbrook's going to prove to be unplayable. And <clears throat> it's going to be a uh, hard out for either one of these teams. It's definitely going six or seven. Could go either way. <laughs> But I think since Luka Doncic is, isn't going to get that MVP trophy, he's going to be extra motivated to prove himself in the NBA postseason. Up next, we've got the Minnesota Timberwolves taking on the Phoenix Buns out here. Um, Tim, Suns just got into the sixth seed as of the Lakers beating the Pelicans. And um, let's see here, man. The Timberwolves are, again, really young team. Anthony Edwards. Rudy, it's Rudy Gobert, man. I don't know how... He hasn't been really that playable in the playoffs. I'm, this is going to be my upset of the round. We got the Phoenix Suns taking down the T-Wolves in seven games. Timberwolves could easily make the Western Conference Finals, or they could easily lose in the first round, man. Uh, Anthony, Edwards is, Anthony Edwards is going to do his part. Cat's uh, going to chip in 23, 24 points per game. It's going to come down to Rudy Gobert, man. And finally, we've got the seven-seeded Los Angeles Lakers, my favorite team, taking on the... Denver Nuggets. Jokic is winning his third MVP. We can we have no Jokic stopper. Even we have we have Anthony Davis and we don't have a Jokic stopper. Think about that. Uh, we're not going to get swept this year, but I do think the Nuggets will take us down in five or six games. They're, all the games are usually competitive, and yeah, three-time MVP Jokic is going to show how uh, he's the best player in the world right now. Uh, we'll stay in the West now. We got the OKC Thunder taking on the Dallas Mavericks. So I'm going to actually go with the Mavericks once again, making the Western Conference Finals after taking the Thunder down in uh, six games. I wanted, to, I almost wanted to say five, but you got to give credit to first-team All-NBA player Shea Gilgis Alexander. Uh, Chet Holmgren, uh, for in order for the Thunder to win this series, it's going to come down to the bigs taking advantage of Derek Lively and Daniel Gafford. And I don't think Chet's ready for that. And now in the other bracket, we got the Nuggets taking on the Suns. I got the Nuggets sweeping the Suns in this one right here. And they'll be going to like their third or fourth Western Conference final in however many years now. Uh, out east, we got the Celtics taking on the Cavaliers. I got the Celtics sweeping the Cavaliers. The Celtics could easily go 8-0 and to start the NBA postseason. Uh, Sixers and Cavs don't match up well. With the Celtics, they have, neither of them have a wing defender, and the Celtics are full of all NBA wings. And then out east in the second matchup, we got the Bucks taking on the Knicks. Uh, <clears throat> I got the New York Knicks taking the Bucks down in seven games. So yeah, the East is pretty much predictable. It's going to be either Celtics Knicks or Celtics Bucks getting into the second round, or the sorry the Eastern Conference Finals. Where out west, you could have the Clippers make a run. You could have any team out west could literally make a run to the Western Conference Finals, and I wouldn't be surprised. Unless if it was the Lakers, the Lakers making it to the Western Conference Finals would be somewhat surprising, just because well we're the eight seed and all that. But we got the conference championship. We'll start out east between the Boston Celtics and the New York Knicks. Man. Uh, is this going to be Jason Tatum's breakout moment, or will he crumble under the pressure once again? The Knicks have very good defenders on their team. I do think um, the Knicks are going to have to score 110 points to win a couple of these games, just because even holding the Celtics to 110 is somewhat challenging. I am going to go with the New York Knicks, man upsetting the Boston Celtics in seven games. I don't think Tatum's built to win an NBA championship, man. I really don't. Um, but, yeah, the Knicks taking advantage of a lopsided Eastern Conference where there's only, like, four teams that I think can make the finals out east when the West has, like, eight or nine teams that could literally make the finals. And then we got the two MVP frontrunners. Um, is this going to be Luka Doncic's time? I really want to say yes, but no. I think the Nuggets take down the Mavericks in a relatively easy five or six games. But Luka's going to average like 40, 10, and 12 in this series right here. And it's just not going to be enough. Kyrie, It's going to come down to Kyrie Irving versus Jamal Murray. And I think the and the supporting cast and the Nuggets just have a 
supporting, better supporting cast. And now we have the Nuggets taking on the Knicks. Uh, easy Nuggets in five games. I think the Nuggets are only going to lose probably four games in the postseason. And I think that's just going to do it right here. Let me know your thoughts on my predictions. Uh, Knicks making the NBA Finals, bro. That's a crazy timeline we're living in.